Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here, and welcome to Dad in Bermuda, which from everything I can gather is basically lost the game. Anyway, it looks kind of neat, so let's just dive right in and see what horrible fate awaits us. Um, okay, I guess one empty is good as another. Oh, yeah, man, let's jump out to the beats. Ooh. We are up. Well, I guess we kind of expected that. Did anyone survive the horrible crash? Gathering survivors. So, crying a lot. Yup. Recovering from the shock. Salvaging scattered goods. Setting up a camp. A few hours after the crash. Alejandro, Alejandro, Alejandro. Um, hey everyone. Let's regroup and talk a bit. Thank you for your help in making a camp. It's heartwarming to see we are sticking together after the, you know, the horror that happened. Yes, Alice. We must cooperate if we are to survive. Let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. Since we may live together for a while now, I'm Alice, 45, and this is my husband, Robert. We come from Montreal. I love hiking and cooking. Pleased to meet you all. Uh, you can call me Bob, guys. Um, don't know what to say. I like to tinker a bit at home. Oh, and, uh, going fishing on Sundays. Oh, thanks. My name is Alejandro. I am 32. You all know me. I think I was the manager at the holiday resort you were staying in. It was my flight to my first holidays in 10 years, so, yeah. I'm sorry, Alejandro. Uh, if it's any consolation, you are on a beautiful tropical island. Hi, I'm Dr. Bethany Winters, coming from London. I guess I should do a British accent for her. Well, I've already started. If you need medical help, please come see me. Uh, the strong, silent type, are we, Yuri? Er... Uh, my dad doesn't speak much. Please excuse him. I'm Ilyana, 16. We're coming from a small village in Russia. Even though I speak perfect English without the hint of a Russian accent. Ah, oh, and Julia married my dad last summer. She's not my real mom. Hello. Everything's already said. Don't expect me to reveal my age, or I should have to silence you forever. Are we finished yet? We are wasting precious time. We must organize ourselves. I am Jacob, and I know how to survive in a hostile environment. I've been preparing for this eventuality all my life. I'm a real nutcase. While you were all uselessly crying, I went around to find a large water tank containing clear water and enough resources to make a fire. You're right, Jacob. But before that, I suggest we take a moment of silence in the honor of those who didn't survive the crash. They will haunt my nights until I leave this world. Okay, discussion results. We got 10 wood, 1 stone, 1 tinder. And it looks like everybody's depression went up from 0 to 20, except for Yuri's, who's went to 30. Welcome to Bermuda. This is the camp view, where you can actually assign characters to activities they will perform during the day. You can move your mouse left and right to view all of the camp. Characters are assigned to action slots. Right now, they're all assigned to the campfire's action slot, which is talk. To move a character, you can either drag and drop him on a new spot, or right click him and click again on the desired action slot. Move a character from the camp to the scavenge slot at the plane, far left of camp. Okay. Oh. Got lots of pop-ups over their heads. 
So, looks like these two are good at discussion. Oh, okay, that's quite sensitive. Nobody else really is. Bob's okay, and so's, what's your name? Ilyana. So, to the scavenger slot. Well, he said he had scavenged already. So, let's, there. You're not very good at that. This character will search the crash site for useful resources, but beware, seeing the dead passenger's corpses will increase his depression state. There are five states in the game, hunger, depression, sickness, injury, and fatigue. If any of them reaches 100%, the related character will die. Next, move two other characters on the research slots at the library. Well, oh, can I move you? Well, you're better at crafting then you are scavenging and you're really good at knowledge put you there for right now can I is there a way to see no can I see how the how what these people are good at what's this a map so that's where we are what's this ah here we go can we what's that back okay this info all right, so skills. Looking for, he's a 45 scavenger. That's a lot better than the older guy. She's horrible at scavenging. So is he. She's not very good. Oh, wow. He's our scavenger. Yes, so Yuri is our scavenger. There you go, Yuri. Yes. So, who else is decent at research? Skills. Oh, we can look at everybody's all at once. Um, mental. Discussion. So, the arrows, I guess, means they went up. And knowledge was the skill for... Nobody else is green at knowledge, but she's the second best. So, we'll put Ilyana, or Ilyana, on to that. Come here, Missy. There you go. These characters will search for new crafting plants. Once the progress gauge reaches 100%, you'll discover a new recipe. The efficiency of every task is tied to a specific skill. Every, every character has different strengths and weaknesses. Yep, we've found that out. But for now, move three other characters to the explore slots at the jungle. Try to find the best combination. Well, I'll do my best. Let's see. Explore skills. Exploration. So he's decent at exploration. Oh wow, she's incredible at exploration. So Alice and Alejandro, I guess for sure. Oh, come on, Alice. Just right clicker. All right. Yep. There we go. And. Uh, Oh, it's a little bit finicky. Alejandro to the explore placey. And um, who else? Skills. Exploration. 41. Yeah, we got you there. There's a 36. There's a 38. So I guess we want Julia on that. Or Yulia, maybe? Not sure how it's pronounced. Come on, Yulia. Guess I might say Yulia because I just like it. These ones will explore the island. You can select which square to explore by clicking on the jungle and then clicking on the corresponding action in the action wheel, else they will explore randomly. Last thing to do now, make a fire. To craft new things for your camp, click on the workshop, then choose crafting recipe and select a recipe. Okay, do I not need to put people on that? Alright, choose... It's the only choice we've got. Good. Each crafting recipe consumes resources that you can get by scavenging the plane and the island. To unlock new recipes, you must discover them first with the research action at the library. You conveniently have the exact amount of resources to craft the campfire, so 
crafting will start once again once you assign characters to the craft action. Assign the last two, okay. But are they any good at it? Does it even matter? Crafting. Oh, wait. Crafting. He's decent at crafting. Yuri's good at crafting. Bob's good at crafting. Well, who's left? Bob and... Is it Bob and Dr. Winters that's left? She's bad at crafting. She's bad at exploring too, but maybe... Maybe we'll move Alejandro to that since she's so good at exploring. We don't have a green crafter. So... Yeah. You can go explore... Hopefully she'll she'll hold this crew together and we will put you guys to crafting. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, looks good. Everyone is assigned to a task. So now let's advance the time and see the results of their actions. The game is compo decomposed into two phases of daytime during which you can freely assign characters to tasks and one phase for the night. When you're ready, click on the next button. Okay. 15 wood, seven rope, five tasty meals, five regular meals, five fruit, one pillow, two coffee cups. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, and they used wood and stone. Oh, okay, so we got an achievement of fire starter there. Description, we finished crafting the recipe campfire. That will definitely help. We managed to make a fireplace with a few rocks and started a fire with wood and a special mushroom called tinder. Okay, <laughs> you can assign characters to the talk action around the fire, lowering the depression. All right. Oh, well, there it is, isn't it? So they got a little bit more tired. I guess the hearts represent friendship, maybe? Maybe they're building relationships? Uh, we need a shelter to recover from the fatigue we gained by working hard all, all day under the sun. New crafting recipe, sleeping area. Okay. Well, that's good. Ooh, they don't like each other. <laughs> Discovered a new area? What's that do for us? They got along, it looks like. That's the basics. Have you noticed how the time has passed and the results of your character's actions? You should have discovered a new crafting recipe and scavenged enough resources to craft it. Select the new available recipe in the workshop and click OK. Alrighty. Um, choose a sleeping area. Yes, that's good. They used a lot of wood. Great! Crafting is important in the game, as it will add new possibilities of actions within the camp, so don't forget it. You should have picked up some food for tonight in the plane, so this won't be a problem for today. You also have some fruits that you can convert into water supplies. Click on the water tank, check your water supplies, and convert some fruits into water. I don't think that's how water works. I'll just be honest. Um, what's this? Oh, so this is everything that we get gets stored in here. And there's the water tank. Check water supplies. We've got 50. Each character consumes one water supply per day. And you can convert one fruit into three to five water supplies. Well, let's just... we got a lot right now. Let's just use one. How do we... Oh, convert. We just got three out of that, so... Water is very important. If your supplies reach zero, it's game over. One can't survive very long without water. That's true. So make a good use of those fruits. Your characters are a bit depressed right now. You can lower their depression by making them talk around the campfire. Move at least two characters on the talk slots at the campfire. Okay. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you had the most depression. In fact, a lot more than anybody else. Let's move you here. Oh, was this? don't talk. So we need to put somebody with him. Uh, well, it is. He might like his wife to talk with him. 
There you go, Yuri and Julia. You can lower the states of your characters different ways. One of the more direct approach should be approaches is to use special items on them for an instant effect in order to do that click on a character and then on the use item action use a cup, coffee cup on a character okay so what does the coffee cup do is that lower depression yeah so he needs that then okay and that lowered his depression that's good oh we're overlapping here don't forget to use your special items. They will make your life many times easier and they are available to everyone. You, you also discovered a new area of the island. Let's see what's there. Click on the map button, then on the new area square you discovered. All right. Um, here. When you send your characters exploring the island, you unlock new areas that can be visited at any time. On each square there's an object and their locations are randomized on each new game. Well, that's cool. You can freely interact with the object. It doesn't pass time, but instead you have a chance to be attacked by a nasty beast, depending on how stealthy the chosen character is. When you are finished with the object, go back to the camp and click on next. Alrighty. So we've got a moist suitcase. Uh, inspect. Uh, find a suitcase certainly coming from your plane crash. Does it belong to anyone who survived? Does it even matter anymore? Okay. Uh, search it. Right. Well, she's got good stealth. Wow, she's got good fighting, too. Really crappy scavenging. And his stealth is horrible. She's got good stealth. Same stealth, but she's a better fighter. She's a sl very slightly better scavenger. He's okay at stealth. So, one of these two... I'm gonna go with her since she's got a good fighting stat let her check it out but scavenging's the important thing about getting stuff oh man well still I don't want somebody to be attacked oh well she failed anyway didn't she oh good she's still alive she got bit by a snake is there something useful in it some tourist bags hopefully so plus five fabric psychology magazine chocolate box Painkillers? Okay. So, is she hurt? She's 3% injured? So that wasn't too bad. I was afraid the snake would kill her. Um, yeah, let's just let you two lower your depression a bit. We can set you back to doing other things later. We've got enough food for tonight at any rate. Okay, so didn't get finished with the shelter. Well, they're, they're friends. What about you two? Do you hate each other still? No, but he's really tired. Oh, okay, you got your thing back there. You'll get along. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good depression lowering there. Discovered a new area. So, the old guy's the most tired. Ooh. Oh, good work, everyone. I know it's hard, but we scavenged some food in that damned plane. I'm sure we'll find more if we continue to search the place. Uh, but it will only last for a few days. Um, after that, we will be on our own. Anyone know how to hunt? I do, but not with my bare hands. We'll need to find or craft some tools. Let's share the food we found right now. We should ration our daily meals. It's a good idea. And water, too. Without water, the average person dies after only three days. A frightening thought. Don't worry. We can make juice out of fruits. The island is covered in jungle. We'll find plenty. Wouldn't juice actually add to your thirst? Yes. That was a very good idea you had today, Eliana. We'll need plenty of those if we want to last until help comes. What help? Uh... We should at least try to reach the jungle. Maybe someone lives there? Yes. And if we find a big tiger, we're dead. Uh... Well, tomorrow is another day. Good night, everyone. 
Good night, Alice. Ooh, so everybody's hungry. Ooh. Each night, or almost, your characters will chat with each other. There are conditions to trigger these dialogues and randomized elements, so you won't have the same dialogues each new game. You must now share the food between your characters. Each food has its own nutritious value. I think you mean nutritional value. And perishable food has a chance to degrade each night, so choose well. Drag and drop meals on your characters and click on the next when everyone is fed. Okay. So we've got the, I guess these are the tasty meals. 20 to 30% hunger drop, I guess. And these are 10 to 20%. So let's go ahead and lower the people's. Oh, I thought they were higher hunger than that, it said. Um, I'm not sure I want to use any of this. These people aren't hungry enough. I wouldn't want to deplete 20% from somebody who hasn't even hit 20% hunger yet. We'll just go without for today. A night in Bermuda effects. Fire intensity minus 27%. Water supplies minus 8. Three out of your five tasty meals have degraded into meal. And three out of five of your meal have degraded into barely edible stuff. Oh. Guess we should have used them after all. Well... Now we know. Alejandro is a bit hungry. Okay. Well, lots of numbers there. We'll just go on. Okay. Did you notice perishable food has a chance of deteriorating each night? Yes, I did. Tasty meals degrade into meals, which degrade into barely edible stuff, which finally turns into rotten food. Also, your fire decreases in intensity. When it drops to 0%, you lose your fire. You can craft it again if you have the resources, but they are very scarce on the island. To avoid that, feed your fire every day. Click on the campfire, check your fire intensity, and feed it with some wood. Okay. Uh, check fire intensity. 73%. So, I guess we'll convert one. That's good. That was a pretty low conversion rate there, but that's okay, I guess. Some last tips. When assigning more than one character to a task, its efficiency depends on each character, skill, and relationship. The relationship will also progress, but there's a slight chance they will argue instead. Each action is tied to one or several skills, and these progress, these progress automatically every time they are used. When enough progress is made on his skills, a character will level up and gain bonus skill points to be distributed freely amongst his skills. His or her skills. Good luck and have fun. Alrighty. So, your depression's in a better state there. So, let's get you back to scavenging. Oh, I thought I saw somebody just standing right there. Must have been a delusion. And you can come over here. Uh, you guys are okay. So, next. Oh, we had a new place on the map I could have looked at too. Should have done that. Right, so he's finding a lot of stuff in the plane. That's great. An axe? Tools? That's awesome. It's depression. He gets depressed easily. I guess that's because he's seeing... That's right. He's seeing the bodies in the plane. All right. Still didn't finish the shelter, it looks like. We need some tools to help us gather resources in the jungle. Since the resources we can scavenge from the plane crash are not infinite. Okay, we got gathering tools recipe. Okay, he needs to rest. And they fought again. Each another new area discovered. She's getting tired. We need that shelter so people can sleep at night. Let's see. What's your problem, dude? Why are you two fighting? Well, when by back in my day. Shut up, Gramps! Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Okay, you two, get along, please. Let's see what we've got on our map here. We've got two places. Let's look here. Ooh, a fisherman basket. Uh, inspect. Your nose is bleeding because of the smell of whatever is inside this fishing basket. All right. So, scavenging's the skill. I'm going to send a good scavenger since she, I mean, she got caught even with good stealth. Let's, let's see if we can scavenge the best we can. Yeah, he's gonna fail. Yep. Monster. What in the? Is that a chupacabra? 
the Jersey Devil, maybe? You almost faint from the smell, but you manage to loot something from the fisherman's basket. Oh, a basket? Fresh fish? Wow. Fresh bait? That's good stuff. Um, how hurt did you get from that? Oh, 1%. That's nothing. We'll just... I don't know why I keep scrolling over. I can just click the map at the top. Just... Ooh, a machete. A machete. Just pick it up. You find a machete. You wonder where where is its owner. You hope he's not a psychopath. Well, we have his machete now anyway. We didn't have to send anybody to get it either. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and do more. I'm going to have to let Yuri talk out his depression after this, probably. Man, you are really good at finding stuff. Fresh meat? How is there fresh meat in there? Oh, he's in the orange for depression. You guys going to finish? Nice. Achievement unlocked. Snorers not allowed. <laughs> okay. We finished crafting this recipe sleeping area that will definitely help. We arranged a place to have a bit of shade during daytime so that the most fatigued of our group can take a nap. You can now sign up to three characters to the take a nap action lowering their fatigue. Okay. Can everybody not sleep in it at night then? Guess not. Okay. So you guys are buddies. Come on guys, get along please. He's super tired. Oh, they got their... They, they made up. Okay. New area. Nice. So we're going to have to rest some people in our new shelter. She, she likes everybody. She get twice the points everybody else did. You were a medic back then? A surgeon. Cool. And here is me. Who thought that surgeons were all old and cranky fellows? <laughs> because a woman can't be part of your little male private club? Huh? What? No, no. That's not what I meant. That's what you said, though. And that's what every alpha male I met during my whole life said. Well, you're, you, you were a success. You overcame all that. No need to get huffy about it. He's... I don't think he's like that. Uh... As a spokesman for our male private club, I offer you our most sincere apologies. Sorry. Funny. Good night. No, I guess that didn't go over too well. Minus 10 to winner's opinion about Alejandro. Okay. Give him a chance. He just kind of misspoke himself. Alright. So we need to deal with depression here. And now they're hungry enough to eat. So, I mean, maybe it wasn't bad. Let's, uh, let's give these not so good ones to the least hungry people give that to her give another one to her and another one to her okay so why is this sad oh increases sickness by zero to three well can we cook it in some way maybe um 10 to 20 percent well let's use these on the people that are above 30 percent hungry all right, there's you, and you, and these two guys are, well, these three are almost at 30%, so Boy, we won't waste the hunger depreciating effects of these before they, when they despoil, we'll go ahead and give one to her as well, I guess. She's, yeah, see, it didn't do it all, so that'll be good, and, um... I guess we can give you one of these. Yeah, okay, good. We didn't waste any hunger points there. And is that it? Yeah, effects. Lowered fire intensity, water supplies. One out of our two tasty meals degraded. Five of our nine meals degraded into barely edible. That's awful. And one out of your fresh meat have degraded into barely edible stuff. Well, at least it won't make you sick now. Three of our fish degraded. Um, Jacob is depressed and very tired. Yuri is really depressed and tired. Alice is very tired. Okay. So we're going to have to put some people into other things. He needs to talk about some things. He is depressed. Alright. And who who is tired? Is this Jacob? Yeah, you're tired. You come over here. 
Is anybody else super tired here? No, no. Um, I mean, her fatigue's getting up, but she's not in the red yet. Don't know if we want to wait till that point. Let's, uh, let's let her, I wonder if you get some fatigue back at the campfire, because you need somebody else to talk to here. So we'll do that, maybe. Okay. You two are okay-ish on your fatigue. Let's look at our area we found here. Ooh, a box. Wooden crate. A crate made of wood. It may contain something valuable as well as being the lair of some strange animal with pointy teeth. Okay. So why is this one red? I, we can only do it once, I guess. Can we search multiple times then since it's white? Let's send our scavenger. That way we'll get, even if he gets attacked. Oh, what in the? that crab have a weapon? You pry open the crate and search for something useful. Coffee cup? Four coffee cups. Spices? Medicinal plants? Chocolate box? I'm gonna have to look at those items. It said to make sure and use them. Okay, so you know, you can't, you can't search more than once. I don't know why it's red then. Um, that's scavenging again. I, I mean, we'll send you. You're our scavenger. We're gonna have to do something to heal him if he keeps getting hurt, though. Yeah, he's 13% injured now. You start breaking the crate and scavenging planks. Four wood, one nail, and you're a little tired now. Back to camp. Let's... Do I need to select a recipe? Yup, gathering tools. Alright, and on we go. Oh, you didn't get it. Sorry, we had to take your research buddy away. Of course, you guys were fighting more than or as much as you were getting along at any rate. So it does decrease fatigue, son. Scatterbrained. Exploration skill progresses slower. Oh, new tra so we can discover traits about people. Okay, get you a little nappy nap there, Gramps. Exploration. Looks like they discovered another new tile. Let's check that out. Jungle? What? Talk to the crazy old geezer. Okay. You got an antenna talking, coming out of your head? A strange odd fellow is sitting right there in front of you in a meditative stance. Meditating stance. He seems to be as alive as a rock and doesn't seem to have noticed you or he doesn't care. You notice his pale blue skin and charred long beard. You can't shake the idea of a defrosted crazy Santa. Okay. So, talk. What's this? So is discussion the relative skill then? Um, if that's the case, we need to send her. A uh, human being, so we're not alone on this damned island. With great expectations, you try to speak to the old geezer. You even scream at him, but nothing will do. He won't budge a charred finger. With your high hopes torn to pieces, you leave him behind. Thinking about what you will say to your comrades when the guy starts muttering a litany of random gibberish words. So, oh, we could use strength too. She's not very strong, so maybe we should have took Yuri here. Try to communicate. Fail. Huh. You try to isolate some of the words and repeating them in front of him, but you have a really hard time uttering them. The sound of some of them coming out totally wrong. You don't know if it's the disappointment of failing at the task or if some words you pronounce turned into a black magic curse, but you feel deeply depressed after that attempt. Well, that's awful. Well, that's not too bad, I guess, in the scheme of things. Can we try again? Let's send Yuri, since there was a strength option. Yeah, 100%. Hit him on the head. 
This guy is pissing you off. You knock him on the head, not too hard, but hard enough to calm your nerves. Instantly, he stops his incantations and a deep silence settles down. The feeling in the air is unworldly. No more bird songs, no more wind whistle. The moment seems to be frozen in eternity and you're starting to feel guilty of breaking something valuable like a small child when the old geezer starts uttering words again. You are now, you are even more relieved when you notice that his litany is by far slower and easier to understand. Okay. Well, shoot, can I not? I guess I'm stuck with Yuri then for the discussion. And of course he failed. And that's all we needed for his depression to increase. So now that we've balked him on the head, can we get Alice to come? Ah. Uh, darn it. Come on. Get this done. It's a, it's a huge chance. We should be able to get this done. Yay. After spending time trying, you fail to understand one single word coming from his mouth, and then you start to grasp a way to communicate with him. You sit next to him in the same position and close your eyes. You try to make one of the river of words... Make one with the river of words, and they are now gently flowing into your head one by one, caressing your mind. Like, like possessed by a higher force, you dive into a sea of words in your mind, reach the bottom, and pick up three shells. On the shells, you see three words written in blood in an unknown language, yet you understand them. Are they from Demolition Man? Are we in a bathroom? You get out of your hypnotic trance with the words prophecy, find, and love dancing in your head. Okay. So Alice's intelligence increased, her knowledge increased, and her depression decreased. Nice. Okay. Well. This is a pretty interesting little game. It looks like it's going to be brutally hard as much as these people's uh, needs and stuff go up. But... Uh, I've really enjoyed this. I may play some more of it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this look at Dead in Bermuda. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like below. It really does mean the world to me. If you'd like to see more of this, leave a comment. Let me know. I may record a little bit more and put it, point it, up, put it up if people like what they see. But until next time, be excellent to each other.